So I had a comment on the explosive twist video asking me to do um, parallel twists. So I think I know what you were thinking, but I'm going to take it a little step further. So I'm going to do one right about here, and then one down here. Let's see if we can't do this. So I need about the halfway line to keep that in roughly in mind. Just drop that there. So I'm going to do this. Actually, something that I, of course, left on the floor. Let's go ahead and pinch that. Put that clip on there. I don't have to worry about it. All right. So I'm going to start this twist. Now I'll do the same thing as before. I'm just doing a twist. It's pretty tight. Alright, where'd that clip go? I think I'm going to back it off to right about there. And pull this through. And hold that in place. Do this other one. Okay, there's no reason to do this in multiple colors um, as far as the sinew. I'm just doing it as like a visual representation to myself and to anyone that wants to keep track of which side is which. Finish twisting this up. I'm actually going to flip it over and scrunch this first. This isn't what I originally had in mind when I thought of what I was going to try to accomplish, but it happens a lot, right? together, make that one giant bundle. This might be the wrong way to do this. Guess we'll see. Alright, off to die. 
All right, I've got this on an incline of about 45 degrees, and this is inside gutter, uh, along with aluminum foil to kind of confine it so that the ice doesn't slide down too far. This is the top part of the shirt. So this, I think I'm going with the brighter colors. And I'm doing this the same as that previous um, supernova, explosive, twist, whatever it was called. So I'm gonna use the same of lemon yellow, Deep Orange, and Oxblood Red. For this bottom part down here, I'm going to use Timberwolf and Raven Black. And then this middle part, which is probably going to be dyed separately, I'm going to go with Deep Purple and the Seashell Blue. And that last part might change a little. So let's go ahead and apply the ice for this top part and this bottom part. And we'll go ahead and dye those two parts. All right, we'll let that sit and melt through. Probably, mm, I'm guessing we're going to need a second round of ice, but we'll see what it looks like. Let it melt and check it out. All right, so that's melted through. I've put this at a weird angle so that I can do the inside part of this and let it melt through. And hopefully this doesn't make a giant mess. All right, I'm gonna put some dye on first, add some ice, and then put some more dye on top. Alright, we'll let that melt through, hopefully not making a giant mess at some point. Alright, it has been over 24 hours. Let's go ahead and rinse this out. Look. I was expecting this part to be much larger, but we'll see what happens. Alrighty, here's the front, here's 
is the back. What do I think about this? Well, um, it's a less defined version of the supernova. This almost looks like liquid dye, the, the way it the way it ended up. It does not look the the yellow and orange do not look ice dyed. Um, the colors are just too solid, really. The red does, the, the rest of it does. Um, this even does, the, the black and gray. I mean, the yellow and orange, or is it orange and red? Orange and red down here look ice dyed, but this doesn't. It's kind of interesting. Now, what I was going for was a supernova, supernova, supernova getting sucked into a black hole. I don't like this part. Maybe this part down here should be a little mini spiral or something. Maybe that would be better. Now I'm thinking, do I go ahead and try that in some weird way? Maybe I will. Okay, so the space part, the, the galaxy look, uh, works. The I, I'm even cool with the, the lighter, almost near white and lighter blue. I mean, I know I put light blue in, but you never know if it's actually going to retain a light blue. I think it looks cool. There's a lot of little like electrical looking stuff down here and up here too. So I like that. A little bit of boo-boos up here. Um, this is the only part. I wonder if a spiral would work. Like do this part like it was before. Put less dye so that there's more streaking or um, ice dye look to it. And then maybe do a spiral down here. Like have it come into a spiral. And then try to do this again. I think I might do that. All right. Let me know your thoughts down below about this shirt and the idea of half spiral, half incline. And until next time, which might be the results of that, thanks for watching.